I want to take a look at what has to be one of the most stirring events in all of the recorded history of the Bible. It revolves around a young woman by the name of Esther. Esther was a Jewish woman. She was living in Persia. Her parents had died when she was only a child. And so she ended up being raised by her cousin, a man by the name of Mordecai. And she grew up to be a very beautiful woman. In fact, she was so physically beautiful that when the king of Persia searched the land for a wife, she was selected to be the queen. Though no one in the king's palace suspected she was a Jew. Because Mordecai said, you know, it might be good to keep that one a secret. Well, then an evil man named Haman appeared on the scene and he talked the king into commanding all the royal officials to bow down to him wherever he traveled and everybody did except Mordecai. Mordecai would bow down only to God and that infuriated Haman and just insulted his pride, which led him to devise a plan to not only kill Mordecai, that wasn't enough for Haman. No, he was going to wipe out the entire Jewish race because Mordecai wouldn't bow down to him. Mordecai told him everything that had happened to him, including the exact amount of money Haman had promised to pay into the royal treasury for the destruction of the Jews. He also gave him a copy of the text of the edict for their annihilation, which had been published in Susa, to show to Esther and explain it to her. And he told him to urge her to go into the king's presence, beg for mercy, plead with him for her people. Esther suddenly found herself not only in a unique position of influence, but with a unique situation that allowed her to make a difference. And Mordecai said, okay, here's the situation, here's the opportunity, seize it, rise to this. She's not alone. In your life, you will have countless opportunities presented to you by God to do something significant with your one and only life. Hathak went back and reported to Esther what Mordecai had said. Then she instructed him to say to Mordecai, all the king's officials and the people of the royal provinces know that for any man or woman who approaches the king in the inner court without being summoned, the king has but one law that he be put to death. When Esther's words were reported to Mordecai, he sent back this answer. Do not think that because you are in the king's house that you alone of all the Jews will escape. For if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place. But you and your family's father's family will perish. And who knows? but that you have come to royal position for such a time as this. He said, listen, this is your moment. Are you going to do something significant with your life or not? If you don't, make no mistake, God will search the land. He will find somebody who will. But right now, it could be you. It could be you.